All right, guys, now it's time to clean your gun. You've used it, you've done everything you needed to do as far as spraying. Now you're ready to clean your gun. Just like a paint gun, you need to paint clean your gun because if not, you just wasted it. You just spent all your money on your gun and now it's toast. Same thing with this guy applies. First thing I like to do so that way I don't throw away any material is I'm going to go ahead and kind of like when you have your spot blaster and you have a clog in your line you want to blow it through and send it back into the hopper same thing you do with the can except you're not going to yank on that trigger all the way back you're just going to kind of press it a little bit just to get a little bit of a little bit of air going let me show you hopefully i can hold the camera and do it show you demonstrating it on the lid of the can you're gonna go ahead and again lightly you guys I don't know hopefully you saw that basically you saw the, the whole hose kind of like shake a little bit that was that little bit of material that was in there basically getting thrown back into the can now I'm just clearing anything that might be left over Move your hose from the can. If you get it on you, don't worry about it. It is water soluble up until it hardens. Once it's hardened, you can't get it off. Take off your lid. You're going to want to wash that too. At least I do. As best as I can. Most important thing when you do clean the lid, try not to bend it on the way out, especially if you're going to be using this kit again. Right. Most important thing you can clean is that middle rubber grommet. Okay? You can, oh, stuff to clean this a bucket of water, some Dawn soap, and a set of Allen wrenches. Water soluble. Set your paint aside, or empty can. <clears throat> All right, grab some Dawn soap. Give it a nice shot. First thing you want to do, mix up your soap and water and clean your paint stirrer at the same time. Get a nice suds going. Now, grab your hose, the pickup hose, send it all the way down to the bottom, grab your sprayer, now you're basically going to do like a power flush. Grab your gun, spray your... Make sure if you have wind with you the day you're cleaning the gun, make sure you don't have any vehicles that are going to be downwind or anything important that can't be hit. If not, shoot it right into the ground. Hopefully you guys saw the transition of black to white from the suds. Alright, that's the first step basically cleaned out the hose on that one that's what you were trying to accomplish with that and started to get the tip somewhat clean next thing you're gonna do take off your hose grab the whole grab the whole hose stick her in the bucket that thing soak. Now, be 
DC or gun. Now, this Allen key is the most important one. You don't need to take this one off because your pickup tube is sending the material up and out this way. It's not going to go back. So you can go to right here. That. All right. It's a metric number three size Allen key. So you break that loose. Don't unscrew it all the way. You don't want to lose your retaining screw. This little tip comes out. This is why it's so important. See all that black mung right there? You don't start cleaning it. You can kind of see it in there how it's, it'll start to build up. You want to clear that out. See in there? So you guys can see that. Kind of. You want to clean that out too. Stick the whole thing. Quarter inch drill bit fits exactly perfectly inside of the tip. It fits perfect. It's almost like it was designed for it. Well, I'm sure the engineers made it that way. Now, what I do is just like as if I was cleaning a gun, I'm going to go ahead and clean that barrel. Make sure it's nice and clean, make sure it spins nice and freely. Once that happens, I know that it's it's cleared. See it getting cleaned up. Pretty much once you've done all that, all you need to do is just wipe everything down. Your gun is pretty much clean. What I do is that I take apart this little top screw right here, shoot a little bit of gun oil in there, put a little bit of gun oil in here, and blast all the residue oil out of there because you don't want to spray that. Alright guys, sorry real quick. Um, my phone died in the middle of making the, the end of that video. Um, what I was saying was is that you put oil in here in your inlet. I put a little bit of oil in here once I took this apart. Um, then I connected it to the air hose and just blasted any oil that was in there. Basically, if you can point this at the ground and you don't see like that, that little slick of oil, you're good. You don't want any of that left in there. Um, you took that out. You blew out any of the water that was in here. Don't connect it to here and blow it through because then you just wet all this all over again. So... Just put it here near the tip and blow all the water out of that. Um, I went ahead and that West Marine vinyl protectant, I went in and I wiped it on here. So that way I protect the rubber uh, from drying or cracking on me over time. Um, put the can back in the in the box, sealed it up, and you're done. Ready for you know the next coat whenever you do it. Um, I know I had mentioned that I was going to do it on Thursday give you guys a time frame that's basically 24 hours um, that's what I'm doing as far as the time in between coats you can do it I believe within four to six hours I believe is what it what it said I don't remember if you remember in, or when you open up the box there's gonna be a little uh, like pamphlet in it it'll tell you everything there I don't remember what it was but that's what I do so that way it'll be nice and dry it's a little cold outside so I'm just gonna make sure it's dry before I put another coat on there. Um, other than that, guys, that's my little video on the bed armor kit for my Duplicolor. Um, it's awesome. I love it. It works great. I have not used it for its original purpose, which is to coat bed liners. I mean, it to coat um, your truck bed. And to basically put a do-it-yourself bed liner on it. I have used it for coating my trailer. I've seen a lot of guys use Linex on their trailers. I remember when I got a quote for it, it was like a thousand bucks. 
to do it because of all the labor involved. And this is a small trailer. This is not a uh, big trailer. I can only imagine what it costs to do a big trailer. <clears throat> Again, that thousand bucks is what it costs to do the big boys. The labor of dismantling the whole trailer, sandblasting, coating, and then reassembling uh, everything. That's my two sets on the on the bed liner kit. Again, guys, I love the bed armor stuff. I have had yet to have any of it flake off, chip, um, sh have rust show through it. Um, other than that, that's it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.